Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to restore files from Windows.old in Windows 10 and explain to you why it's kind of useless for most people. So what is the Windows.old folder? That means you have a feature update you just did or you upgraded Windows 10 from 8, 7, Vista, and Microsoft is going to save that folder in case you have problems or change your mind and you want to roll back. Here's the rub. Just like when you use Reset This PC, it doesn't save everything. It just has your system file. So if you're looking to recover pictures, documents, music, it's not there. And matter of fact, there's not a lot there that the average user is going to need. But that said, let's do it anyway. So let's open up File Explorer. There's our Windows.old folder right there. As you can see, here's our Windows folder. So you can see it's got all the folders, all the system files, etc. But what it doesn't have is under Users, Your Name, anything useful. You'll see that they're empty. And again, there's a reason for that. Microsoft does not delete those files and folders because they know they're valuable to you. However, it's a good time to remind you, you should have a backup. Always have a backup. All right. So if you really, really got to get something out of here, let's goof around. Let's go into Windows. Let's pull RegEdit out, which I might already have. Let's see here. Might have backed it up already when I was playing around, but let's go down just as an example. So there's RegEdit. Make sure you're in the Windows.old folder, which we are. And we find the RegEdit. And now we're going to scroll up here to my machine. I can put it anywhere I want. I'm going to drop it in Documents. I'm going to do the standard right-click copy, right-click and drag, copy here. And there it is backed up. So once again, if it's not a system file, you probably shouldn't mess around with a Windows.old folder. If you're happy with your current operating system, you can delete the Windows.old folder. I'll actually add a link to that here, which you can find from the I or in the video description. But so now you're thinking, all right. There's nothing useful here for me. What am I going to do now? I need to get some pictures. Shadow copy or volume shadow copy service. This link right here, that will be in the video description below. This thing's great. It's free, it's portable, and it's stupid easy to use. I have a video here too, so I can walk you through that. If you don't, but I don't think you even need it. What you do is you start it, extract the files, use the portable, pick your drive, Pick a location or a date where you want to get the file from. And you just right click the file you want to get and click export. It's got some limitations. File Explorer, you can get Control A. You can copy big sections over. This one you got to kind of shift hold the arrow key to make it work to get multiple files. But seriously, it's really, really easy to use no matter what your skill level is. So there you have it. There's that little bit there. That's probably going to be more useful to you and one of the reasons I did this video than the Windows.old folder. And once again, I will be sure to add a link to the tutorial on how to delete the Windows.old folder if your operating system is stable and you want to free up some space you don't need it backed up anymore. And there you have it. As always, my friends, at the bottom right-hand corner is the subscribe button. We'd appreciate that. Or at least give us a like if we helped you out. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.